Welcome learners once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Teacher Jean. I'm still on break uh, from teaching mathematics uh, in secondary school. Although I'm coming back, uh, I'm now teaching a topic called permutations. This is uh, a topic in the University of Mathematics called Maths for Science, a unit called Maths for Science. I want now to look at what a permutation is. In our previous uh, lesson, we looked at the factorial notation, the n factorial, and I hope we understood what it meant. Maybe I can do a little bit of review. If you have n factorial learner, we said that n factorial is the product of all the integers from n all the way up to 1. So you talk of n, n minus 1 multiply by n minus 2 you go subtracting 1 as you go to the right n minus 3 all the way to times 1 and therefore learner for example we said 5 factorial is the same as 5 times which number 4 you are just subtracting 1 as you go to the right times 3 times 2 times 1 and this would give you 120 Something that I didn't uh, tell you last time, and I want to put it clear here, is about zero factorial. Suppose you have zero factorial learner. Zero factorial would be equal to what? There is a conventional rule that states that zero factorial, zero factorial is equals to one. This is a rule that zero factorial, whenever you come across it, it is equated to one. And therefore learner, what is a permutation? What is a permutation? A permutation learner, a permutation or permutation uh, refers to, it refers to an ordered, an ordered arrangement, an ordered arrangement of objects or items. It refers to an ordered arrangement of objects or items. And therefore, suppose we do an example here. Suppose you are asked, Lana, how many permutations, how many permutations, how many permutations do the letters, do the letters, sorry, do the letters, which are these letters A, B, C, half, when arranged in a row, when arranged in a row. How many arrangements would you make with these three letters, these three different letters, Lana? So if I can do it literally here, Lana, I can talk of A, B, C, that is one arrangement. Then I can also talk of B, C, and I go back to A. Then I can start with C, I talk of C, A, B. Those are three arrangements. Then I come down here and talk of A. I can decide to interchange this to have another arrangement. I can write my B here, I interchange this to have another arrangement. I write my C there, I interchange these two. Learn. These are the only arrangements that you can make with these letters, three different letters, A, B, C. Six arrangements or six permutations. Six arrangements or six permutations. Learn. For us to be able to come up with the arrangements or permutations, we don't need to do it practically like this. We can use a formula. And therefore, learn. How, let us look at permutations Instead of doing it pretty practically, we can use a formula. Let us look at how to get permutations of n different, n different objects. N different objects, taking all of them, taking all, that is, all of them are n at a time, taking all at a time. Look at that lab. How can you come up with permutations of n different objects taking all at a time, like what we've done here? Uh, the number of permutations, Lana, 
the number of permutations or arrangements is got by is got by the formula n or the different objects permutation n look at that n permutation n the number of arrangements is got by that formula if you are arranging all the objects what does this mean n permutation n learner means you take this n here you say n factorial divide by what n minus n factorial look at that n minus this n factorial this gives us what learner n factorial over zero n minus n is zero zero factorial and therefore this gives us n factorial divide by what zero factorial learner we've said that there is a rule that zero factorial is equals to one and therefore simply n uh, we get n factorial so the number of permutations of arranging n different n different objects taking all at a time is just got by this n factorial and therefore in our case here a b c learn our n is what our n is three one, two, three, three different letters. And therefore, the number of permutations of this three would simply be equals to you take the number n and then you see three factorial, three factorial. Because all the letters are different, you just talk of three factorials, just like the way we talked of n factorial. And therefore, you can say three factorial is three times two times one gives you what six arrangements or six permutations six permutations good let us call that example number one and we look at another one here Lana. number two Lana, number two suppose we have the word maths maths how many different objects are here? They are three. They are five, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. And therefore, in this case, the number, the number of permutations, in this case, learner, or the number of arrangements of these letters would be equals to one, two, three, four, five. That is five factorial. Five factorial is what learner? Five times four times three times two times one gives you 120 arrangements believe it or not these are the arrangements that you get for these letters here and therefore learner number three if you have the word measuring look at this learner measuring all these letters are different. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All the letters, all the objects are different. So your N is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Your N is nine. And therefore, in this case, Lana, the number of permutations, just like we've done above, would be equal to N factorial, which is nine factorial. Lana. 9 factorial is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 or you can simply use a calculator 9, nine factorial using a calculator would give you what look at it this 362,880 permutations believe it or not so, uh, quite interesting and unbelievable uh, and uh, therefore learn just go and try out this suppose you have the word fragile fragile how many permutations would you get if you arrange all those letters suppose you have the word uh, introduce 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 how many permutations would you have by arranging these different letters uh, of these terms. So all the best learner, we are going to continue very soon. Thank you, go and practice. God bless you.